Hey guys, friend over here, back with another video, and this one we will show you how you can write files at runtime in the Godot engine, so let's go ahead and get into this. So my scene setup here is a text edit field, a line edit field, and a button. This text edit will control what the contents of the file will be, the line edit will control the name of the file, and the button will just be there so the user can actually create the file itself. And then I have a script on my control node, the root of the scene, and I have the button hooked up to a signal. And the first thing we need to do to open, to write to any file in Godot Engine and to open and read from any file is you need to instance a new file class in Godot. So the way to do that is by saying var f is equal to file dot new. And this f can be whatever value you would like. You could call it file, but me personally, I just like to shorten it to f. And then to allow the user to type in the their own contents of this of these fields here, we need to say f.open and then we pass in the directory we would like to write to. In my case, it's the user directory. It's a little bit more complicated to get directories outside that directory. So I prefer just going into user. And then I say plus line edit dot text. So it's getting the text from this line to edit. And then saying comma file.write. So this opens the file and allows us to write into it. And then we say f dot store string dollar sign text edit dot text. So it's getting it the text from this text edit, and essentially just copying the text from this text edit into the file we created. And then we always need to close the file so it doesn't persist in memory. Now another example of a way you could do this is to like have your own text. So for example here on our control node, I now have two variables text and file name or i've shortened shortened it to f name and then what i do in the unbutton press now is i say f dot open and then user directory but now i'm passing in the f name instead of the text from this line edit and then i do the same thing i do file dot write and then for f dot store text i just pass in the text variable up here and then there's actually an export property that allows you to export multi-line strings. So that's pretty useful if you need to write like documentation or dialogue or something in the text field. Because the default single line does not have enough space to do something large like that. So you can use multi-line if you're writing something that needs to be long. And then you can say f.close. And then both of these will work as long as you are opening the file, storing the strings, and then closing it. So if you found this video informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps our channel, helps good content like this recommend others. That's all from me for now. Fun Uber, out.